Wouldn't you know that just as soon as I posted the video, and I'll link that above here because you'll need it anyway, about doing uh, integrations with Nest and Google with their new uh, API, Home Assistant has released a, an integration, a partial integration for Nest in version 117. All right, as always, make sure that you follow the official documentation here. There is the Home Assistant uh, IO integrations Nest documentation. And I've done all of this stuff here, um, up here where we talk about device access developer account. Again, that's in that video up above here. Um, so I've got uh, everything, including the pub sub subscription. And what we need to do is we need to go down here and find our configuration. So this is what we need to put in our configuration.yaml. So watch the video above, uh, that I link above, and also link it down below. Make sure you watch that video about doing the OAuth and the client access and everything setup part, because you'll need that for uh, part of this anyway. Uh, that will give you your client ID, your client secret, your project ID, and your subscriber ID. Um, you'll need all of that to do this. So get that set up, then come over here and add this block in your configuration.yaml file. Also, you'll need to set your external and internal URL or you're gonna get an abort message when you're trying to add the integration. Once you have this block set and you've set your external and your internal URLs, you can go back over to Home Assistant and restart it. Once it's restarted, then you should be able to go into the integrations and add the Nest integration. So we'll click on the plus sign, search for Nest, and it's going to ask for permissions for my thermostats. I have two thermostats, and that's it. Uh, and then, of course, the structure itself. It's going to ask for uh, the account to authenticate if you have multiple accounts. App isn't verified. That's fine. We'll continue to go on. I'm going to allow PubSub subscriptions. There we go, allow that. All right, so once you've gone through all of the authentication screens, so multiple accounts if you have them, uh, there's a section where it says the, the app is not um, approved by Google. If you see that, then you can go through the advanced section and approve it anyway, if it's your own app. Uh, and so uh, we've now successfully authenticated and we have configurations, um, the following devices, the, the upstairs and downstairs thermostats. I mean, I can set it upstairs or downstairs. I'm just gonna leave it alone for now and we'll finish. And now we have two devices and we have four entities. Uh, so all we have now is the humidity and the temperature sensors, which is what is provided for in um, in Home Assistant according to their, or I'm sorry, in the uh, uh, documentation for the API. Now, I also did a different way of doing this after I made the initial video that I talked about that I linked uh, up here earlier and then down below, is using Node-RED, I'm actually able to get more things from the API. Now, my assumption is they're gonna expose more things in the integration for Home Assistant, but for now, um, only the temperature and the humidity are available and you can create sensors off of those. What I have done in uh, Node-RED is I've created uh, a flow that goes and runs once an hour or every 59 minutes, pulls my credentials, uh, ref uses my refresh token and sets a new token that is in the flow here. Uh, this is a flow token, which means it's accessible to all the flows or everything in the flow. And of course, this is a flow, this whole section here. And then what I do is I go every minute and I get all my devices and I call uh, a list of devices. So if we look at these different, different flows or different uh, nodes, we can see how they're set up um, using the flow access token, which we set up here. And then we look at um, the device list and we'll get a device list. I actually have an upstairs and a downstairs. So I have a zero and a one device list. And then what I do is I pull out the state. So in order to get this state, I set up a debug message or a debug uh, node. And I looked at all of the path that gets me to this state. 
And if you look at the video yesterday, I talk about the JSON object that's returned. It's the same JSON object. Uh, make sure you watch another video if you want to know what that looks like. But it basically boils down to me pulling that specific device uh, from the traits and then putting it in here to get the value. And because I'm in Fahrenheit, uh, when I look at temperatures, I also use a unit converter node. I send this to a uh, home assistant using MQTT. So I set a topic here of nest uh, downstairs temp and I use MQTT connection to my MQTT server that's hosted on my home assistant um, server. And I send it back over to node red or over to home assistant as a, a value or as a sensor. And if we look in my sensors, and I know I'm going really fast, but I'm trying to get this video out because I see a lot of activity for the new integration and I want to just talk about that quickly. So if I look at my sensors page here, you can see that I have created a number of MQTT sensors. A lot of these are for my weather station, but then I have some other ones that are for um, the two new uh, or the four new states I've gotten. So I've got uh, a topic of downstairs temp and HVAC state and HVAC upstairs state and HVAC upstairs temperature. And all four of these are now sensors that are pushed from home assistant uh, in node red over to home assistant here. And then I'm able to display those on my dashboard, which we can see over here. My upstairs and downstairs states for NAST are here and then my upstairs and downstairs temperatures are set here. Now again, I think that um, the integration is being built. There'll be a lot more going on with it. Um, I forget the author's name, but you can certainly see it on, on um, the updates for Home Assistant. Um, thank you so much for creating that, by the way, because what it does is it answers the token update situation and everything else. That will be something that Node-RED is having to do for me right now. And then I'm sure it'll be iterated on and built on and we'll have more functionality. And eventually, eventually we'll be returned back to what the works with Nest setup was like, where I can set my temperatures and everything else. So kudos to you for building the integration. I'm um, just showing a quick demo on how I put it in. Um, this video, it doesn't make much sense unless you watch my other videos. So do both of those and then get a good idea. Ask me questions in my Discord server. If you do have any, uh, subscribe. Uh, to get updates when I make new videos, hit that alert bell icon and just let me know if you have any questions. Sorry this was so fast, but I just wanted to get it out there quickly for you. See you next time.